Haleluya. Sipat, 
puso na tihinlan Alin sa bawat hirapan Kalungkutan Pag-asa sa buhay na walang hanggan Bawat hapang Katwiran mo'y aking gabay Bigay mo, Espiritu'y umaakay Sadyang dakila ka, aking nama Maawain ang lubos, sapat mapangpala Baby, cause in your mind, we got ya. Hallelujah! Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is another day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be exceedingly glad in it. Why? The Lord is so good and His love endures forever. Blessings to every one of you today. The Shalom of God continually manifest say manifest become a reality remember the word gave life the word of god always give life to every situation and the word of god gives victory the word of god is life and it is limitless hallelujah so i'm declaring to you the shalom 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 of god in christ jesus 
Nothing is missing. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is broken in Jesus' name. Even upon your health, upon my health, upon all of us, our families. And I'm declaring there is going to be a divine knock, divine call coming to you this week for all kinds of supernatural favor of God in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. So we praise God for that. And I just want to share some powerful things that happened on our trip to Palawan. We're so blessed. Amazing work of God. After hearing the message at Great Destiny yesterday, it was so beautiful. It was so overwhelming. I was, I was even empowered. By God using our daughter Dorcas to speak God's word. That it's time that we don't only expect one time one event elevation but we just keep elevating say keep elevating we just keep moving higher in obedience in loving god in serving god and honoring god so praise god for that and we have this lady send us messages like this i was overwhelmed with the message of of dorcas apostle i have to seal it with faith i was crying i was in tears and, you know, it was really for me. God has been speaking to me uh, uh, while she was preaching. So we were so thrilled. Amazing work of God. And we have also um, in, um, in our convention uh, in Palawan, people were sending us uh, amazing praise reports of how the ministry of Apostle Sarah minister to them in the Word of God in different sessions last Saturday, last um, Sunday morning, last Sunday evening. It was overwhelming. And even the businessmen were really transformed. Um, we were talking to Colonel um, um, Monsanto. It was so powerful that their lives, he said, our lives are never the same again when God has sent you to us so we give God the glory for that amen remember the glory belongs to God and God keeps moving and I receive a special call from Illinois while we were we arrived here in um, Manila last night and this brother from Illinois is just overwhelmed asking for direction what what direction what you avenue he should take but he just want to see to it it's from the lord so we praise god for that people are experiencing favor and elevation of god but listen carefully ask god's wisdom don't rush don't rush with your own ability your own strength don't rush listen to god look to the to, to the word of god and ask the men and the women of god it's going to be beautiful this year in Jesus Christ's name, amen. And one thing that that really what really ministered to us, Dorcas was sharing. She said, you know, I'm not I'm I'm not here serving God because I'm a child, I'm a daughter of an apostle, but I'm here because I've made up my mind I will serve the Lord. That is so powerful. Guys, I'm referring to you, you and your children and your grandchildren my grandchildren they will make that beautiful decision to serve the lord all the days of their lives in jesus name amen and amen and amen so let us have a join me now in the holy communion father we thank you we ask that you would bless this bread and this cup we declare pass over we declare healing to those who are sick and by the stretch of jesus we declare good health we declare divine protection favor of God, favor of man. And this week, you continue to manifest your glory, protection, favor, and the wealth of God be transferred into our hands that we can expand the kingdom of God. We can do what you have called us to do in Jesus' name. Jesus said, this is my body, which is for you. Eat this in remembrance of me. Let's eat the bread. Be whole, be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for what you have done by giving us your son 2,000 years ago 
and he died for us at the cross to redeem us from the curses of the law in Jesus' name. After supper, I took the cup, saying, This cup is a new covenant, my blood, drink this in remembrance of me. I now declare by the stripes of Jesus, you and I are healed, healthy, and strong in Jesus' name, energetic, energized by the power of the Holy Spirit. And one thing that I really love what uh, Sister Dorka shared was one thing that is complete. Hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What a wonderful day again that the Lord has made for you, for me. It's the Shalom of God that you can expect today. What is the Shalom of God? It is God keeping you safe, God giving you peace, God giving you the prosperity in Christ Jesus. You are healthy and strong, and by His stripes, you are well, you are healed, you are, you are actually exceedingly blessed. Say exceedingly blessed in Jesus' name. I'm sending the shalom of God to you. Nothing is missing, nothing is lacking, nothing is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. We have met a lot of people in Palawan, Puerto Princesa, we never even realized they were they were actually listening <clears throat> to the live streaming every day and i just want to greet all of you guys from different places in uh, palawan in Luzon, visayas mindanao isabella people from the philippines people from mindanao from Luzon, from different parts of asia macau um, singapore malaysia and hong kong and also of course, the people from United States, where we are actually just living right now as resident. So we bring the blessings of God upon your house, say upon my house, in Jesus' name. And I'm declaring to you, even people from Canada, from Europe, from different parts of Middle East and Israel, I'm declaring that nothing is missing, nothing is lacking, nothing is broken in Jesus' name. We have this beautiful testimony of this lady that have actually been listening and she said I, you know it's my first time to be able to do this live uh, live streaming hearing the word of God every single day but after somebody shared this live video streaming I started to become hungry for God and for the first time in my life I gave my life to Jesus hallelujah Praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Lord is good. Another lady said, uh, you know, apostle, first time I'm going to do ledger. And my sister heard about the message that you heard, shared last Sunday. And she wanted to have a ledger to be able to start organizing her life. This is the year of divine elevation and explosive growth, explosive blessing, explosive miraculous work of the Lord in Jesus Christ's name. So I'm telling you guys, this is this is very important. Um, um, I, I'm, I'm very excited with what the Lord is doing. I want you to just keep listening. And sorry for that. People are calling right now as I do live streaming. So let me continue with this. Praise God. I'm very excited for all the things that's happening right now. Prayers. A tremendous move of the Holy Spirit like never been before. Okay, let's let's just pray. I want you to join me and I want you to share this live video streaming to your group chat, to your family, to your post because somebody needs to hear this beautiful message. You know what? The Lord has stored good things for His children. Say good things. Remember, you need to be confident. You need to be always ready. Always ready. Confident. When you have done the right thing before the Lord, you've done the ledger, you've done the savings, you have done, you know, the first fruit, you have done the tithes and offering, you have done loving people, forgiving people, you move on to your destiny. Listen carefully, you will be confident that all the attacks of the devil is just not going to have an effect. No weapon formed against you shall prosper throughout this year. No work of the devil will prosper in your body, in your health, in every part of your body in Jesus name why because you are blessed 
you are healthy, you are strong, you are wealthy in Christ Jesus. Father, we ask that you would bless this bread and this cup, sanctify it, make it holy unto the elements of the Holy Communion. We declare Passover, we declare healing, we declare restoration, and tremendous overflowing grace and blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus said, this is my body which is for you. Eat this and remembrance of me. Let's eat the bread, be whole, be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I'm excited for another beautiful day today. It's going to be another day of, of funds coming from the north, from the south, from the east and the west. Hallelujah. It's going to be another day of a blessing, favor of God, favor of man. It's going to be a divine knock, divine call in Jesus' name. After supper, I took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant of my blood. Drink this and remember this me. Let's read the cup in Jesus' name. I'm declaring to you divine elevation, divine explosive move of God in your life, in your family, and the spiritual growth like you have never seen before in Jesus' name. We just actually dedicated the new place of Sarah's Bake House is going to be open in Robinson Galleria today, uh, yesterday. So it was so amazing. I'm so grateful to the Lord to, to keep teaching our children, Joshua, Esther, and Dorcas, and Justine, and Hadassah, and Levi. And I'm teaching you that when you keep honoring God, say honoring, honoring, obeying, following God, even if you don't see things happening, you just do it simply to honor God. You will be confident God will open the door for you. Even from the little things that you have, don't be afraid. God will make it so big that your mind is going to have a, 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 a tremendous you know, awe of God's goodness and grace. Let me bring to you Psalms 31, verse 19, okay? Psalms 31, verse 19 and 20. How great is the goodness you have stored for those who fear you. Wow, did you hear that? Your love is it on those who come to you for protection. Blessing them before the watching world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence. Save from those who conspire against them. You, you shelter them in your presence far from accusing tongues. I'm declaring this word to you right now, to you, to your children, to your ministry, to your finances, to your, to your vision, to your dreams, to your goals. Those who are going to Israel next year. I'm declaring to you that those who are traveling around the world, you know, I'm declaring to you, you are protected and God's goodness will run and find you. Say, well, find me. Hallelujah. Well, find me. Yes. Well, find me. The goodness, the faithfulness, the blessings of God keeps finding me and, and God keeps elevating my life. Let me bring to you this very important word. David said, how great is the goodness you have stored, Lord, for those who fear you. So one thing what we need you to do, listen, look at me. Just follow God's word, even if you cannot understand everything. See, that's the fear of the Lord. You fear that you don't want to lose the presence of God. You don't want, you know, the world, you want God in your life. Fear of the Lord. Second, how do you have the fear of the Lord? You obey the word. You do first fruit. You do, you respect men and women of God. You do the seed faith. You just keep on humbling and you keep growing in the word of God. You keep listening to the word of God. That's the fear of the Lord. God says, um, this is going to happen to you. God will lavish you. Okay, lavish. It means God's blessing is going to be so big divine protection is going to be so powerful and the blessing of the lord will be so special big time elevation that the world will keep watching on you your neighbors your relatives your friends your your instagram friends your social media friends facebook friends even you know your your classmates your your neighbors your your office mates, they will, and your boss will be watching. They will be watching how God is promoting your life and your family as you serve God. And you will be different. I'm declaring to you this year, you will be different like you have never seen before in Jesus' name. And God will hide you. This is the second. When you keep God always priority, outmost priority, God will hide you in His presence. God will hide you in the shelter of his wings and make you safe. You know, this is powerful. This is very important. 
um, this is how God will continue to do mighty works in your life. Okay, uh, He will hide you in the shelter of His presence and keep you safe from those who conspire you. He will shelter you in His presence. So I'm telling you guys, no works of the devil prevail. Instead, victory is yours in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. A lot of people are blessed because of Jesus. And thousands and thousands of people will see the glory of God in our lives this year. In Jesus' name, and you will travel around the world declaring the goodness of God. And if you are here for the first time, and you have never accepted Christ as your Savior and Lord, would you pray with me and say, Lord Jesus, I repent. I am a sinner. Today, I accept you as my Savior, my Lord. My life is yours. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. God bless you guys. I love you. Everybody share this live video streaming.
you are our strength. You are our hope. You are our future. You are our everything. And thank you, Lord, that we are continuously empowered by the message of your word. Tuloy po akong lumakas at lalo pang kumapit sa isa panalaya in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome everyone to our morning, Wednesday morning hope, blessed hope prayer. Ayun po, mananalang tayo sa mga bansa and today we are going to pray for Benin. For the nation of Benin, let's pray for those who practice voodoo and witchcraft to be set free from the powers of darkness. Let's pray for the church to be made pure, steep in the power of prayer, and having an uncompromised faith. Let's also pray for Bibles and Christian literature to be translated into many languages, which are still without the scriptures. So, translation sa local languages nila. Mas marami pa ang pagbasa at makatinig ng salita ng Diyos. Benin, the West African nation of Benin gained independence in 1960 and was then ruled by a Marxist-Lenist government. In 1989, Benin successfully transferred to a representative government and is now known for maintaining one of Africa's stable democracies. Although democracy is considered stable, the government, like many in Africa, is permitted with corruption. One third of the population lives in poverty. Barely one third is literate. One third na kumaan baksa at suna. One of the world's 20 least developed nations. Benin struggles by the economic opportunities for its citizens. Many parents sell their children as slaves, mostly to the neighboring nation of Nigeria. Most of these precious children will never again see. Pray po natin ang mga bata na ito. Historically, one of the least evangelized nations in Africa. The church in Benin has grown from, from 50,000 people to 770,000 in just 30 years. Thank God for that. However, the nation has one of the highest rates of syncretism specifically combining Christianity and Muslim and Voodoo. The need for trained pastors is high in order to disciple the growing number of Christians. There is also great need for media ministry in Benin as most of the nation is illiterate. Nearly half of the languages in Benin do not have a Bible to inform the 60 total people groups. The loving nature of that. So we pray for more translations of the Bible. There are about 13 million people, 30 million, living in this country. Ang kapi at ang kunila ay Porto Novo. At ang uh, dahil nga sa paglago ng church, so almost kalahati na 46% ay nagsabing Christians. But we pray na ang mga Christians na to talagang maging uh, authentic o puro buo ang kanilang pananampalataya sa Panginoon. At madagdagan pa yan, Shem. Muslims around 28% and in religions 25%. By 18.7% pang hindi nakakarinig ng salita ng Diyos dahil nga sa kakulangan ng translation. So later, let's play for Benin. Of course, pananalangin muna natin ang Macau and then mananalangin natin ang Pilipinas. We pray for Benin. Later on, we'll pray for the church. We'll pray for uh, prayer requests. Kung meron po kayo mga kahilingan sa panalangin, just type in your request, chat box, or comment section, or private message. Pwede rin po doon sa ating prayer wall. So meron po tayo prayer wall sa messaging. So doon lang po doon. And uh, let's all together agree in prayer that God will heal the sick. God will restore the, the desperate. And God will uplift the lives of the people. Bago po yan ay, let's watch the video. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for the people of Benin. We thank you for your love for these people. 
We bless your name, Lord, for the openings of the doorway for the gospel to get to Benin. We thank you that the people are hungry for you. We pray for the pastors, the Lord, your hand will be upon them, that they themselves will be committed to you and that there will be people who will lead the way. We pray the Lord, the more of these people who have come to know you, the Lord, will be committed to discipleship. We pray, Father, that your hand will be upon them. We pray that nominalism will give way to true discipleship and that syncretism will give way to people being truly born again and serving you, the Lord. We are praying for leadership. The Lord, discipleship, Bible schools will open up so that Lord ministries will see this place as necessary to open up more schools to train more disciples who will take the country for you. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Also, Lord, for the president who has opened up the country for more people, for more missionaries to come to the country, even to evangelize. We pray for the few people who are left, ethnic groups who have not been reached with the gospel. We pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord, those nations of God, those people, will open up for your word to reach them. We ask that once the people are willing or ripe to receive you, I pray that there will be a touch. I pray there will be unity between the pastors and all the leaders so that those who are not born again will see the examples of Christ and they will follow. And that will even compel them to follow Christ. We pray for the political leaders, Lord, that as many that are Christians will exemplify the true Christian life the true Christian values for others to see. And for the few believers who are also there, we pray that they will also yield themselves to you. Lord, fill them with your spirit. We bless you, Father. We honor you. For us a prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I speak the name of Jesus over you In your hurting, in your sorrow I will ask my God to move I speak the name Cause it's all that I can do In desperation I'll seek heaven And pray this for you I pray for your healing The circumstances would change I pray that the fear inside would flee In Jesus' name Jesus, oh God, we speak your name, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus, oh God. Lahat na pangalangin namin, Panginoon, oh God, ay didinggin mo, Lord God, dahil katawagin lamang po namin ang pangalan mo, Panginoon, oh God, dahil ito ang tunay na Diyos na tagapagligtas, tagapagpagaling na lahat mo, ay karamdaman, Panginoon, lahat ng kahit na nung kung circumstances ng amin, oh Lord God, we speak your name, Panginoon, oh God, and we pray, Lord God, to you, ay isasagot pa po sa lahat ng aming panalangin, Lord God. Muli, Lord God, nagpapasalamat kami this morning, Panginoon, Lord God, sa panagkalawin sa kalakasan sa bawat isa, Lord God. Maraming salamat, Lord God, sa buhay ng bawat isa, Lord God. At narito, Panginoon, upang idalangin sa iyo ang iba't ibang bansa, Lord God. We speak, Lord God, uh, Lord God, na patuloy niyo po kami patawarin, Panginoon, sa mga kamalian namin, mga pagkukulang, Panginoon, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to clean our heart, Panginoon, Lord God, upang maging karapat-dapat po kami sa iyong harapan, Lord God. At malaya ka pong makakilos sa buhay ng bawat isa, Lord God. 
Muli, Lord God, ito nataas po namin sa iyo ang bansang makaw, Panginoon, O God. Kung sa iyo po kami dinala, kung, kung bakit kami narito, Panginoon, alam ko namin, Lord God, na may purpose ang bawat isa, Panginoon, O God. Kung ba't mo kami dinala sa bansang makaw, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, sa lahat ng churches, Panginoon, O God, sa bansang ito, Lord God, na more newcomers pa po in every service pa po, Panginoon, O God, and more workers to, and disciples to raise more spiritual services and activities pa po, Panginoon, O God, na lahat po, Panginoon, O God, na bagong dadalo sa iyong tahanan, Panginoon, O God, sila po, Panginoon, O God, ay may encourage pa po, Panginoon, at sila po, Panginoon, O God, ay may encourage bilang maging workers pa po, Panginoon, O God, at Dalangin po namin, Lord God, na mas marami pa pong activities, Panginoon, ang darating, Panginoon, ay pagkakalog niyo po sa amin, Lord God, upang mas talo pa po kami lumalim sa iyo, mas talo ka pa po namin makilala, Panginoon, Lord God. Dalangin po namin, Lord God, sa lahat ng newcomers, Panginoon, Lord God, continue, Lord God, na ipuin niyo po ang kayo ng mga puso, Panginoon, upang mas patuloy pa po silang lumapit sa iyo, mas lalo pa po silang patuloy na lumipende sa iyo, Panginoon, at maniwala at magtiwala lamang po sa iyo, Panginoon, Lord God. Dalangin po namin, Lord God, sa lahat ng mga workers, Panginoon, at magiging workers pa po, Panginoon, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, na patuloy niyo kami pag-initin, Panginoon, Lord God, na mag- magsilbi sa iyo, Panginoon, Lord God. Hindi po kami magsawa, hindi po kami mapagod, Panginoon, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, Lord God, na patuloy pa po, Panginoon, Lord God, na dumami pa po ang mga mag-disciples pa po, Panginoon, Lord God, sa iyong tahanan, Lord God. Even we pray, Lord God, sa lahat po, Panginoon, Lord God, na nakakaranas Panginoon ng depression, stress, addiction, to vice to vices Panginoon o kahit na ano ba po Panginoon o God na nakakaranas pa po Panginoon ng kalungkutan Panginoon na mga bagay na makakapagpalayo sa iyo Panginoon o God continue Lord God to to touch them Panginoon o God katagpo inyo po ang bawat isa Lord God na nakakaranas nito Panginoon o God wala pong imposible sa iyo Panginoon o God we speak your name Panginoon o God Uh, na ano ang pumararanasan nila ngayon, Panginoon, O God. Ito po yung kanilang mapagtatagumpayan sa tulong nyo lamang po, Panginoon. At sa oras, Panginoon, na sila ay maging okay, Panginoon, O God. Ito po ay magiging living testimony nila, Panginoon, sa kanilang mga buhay, Lord God. Naniniwala po kami at nagtitiwala po kami sa yung kapangyarihan, Panginoon, na ikaw lamang po ang may kakayahan na gumaling, magpagaling, Panginoon, O God, sa mga nakakaranas ng ganitong kal- karamdaman ngayon, Panginoon, O God. Lalo na po, Panginoon, sa kalungkutan, Panginoon, O God. Hallelujah. Dalangin po namin, O God, na patuloy na mag-enlighten ang yung mga salita, Panginoon, O God, na patuloy pa po, Panginoon, lumawak ang kapangyarihan mo, Panginoon, sa buhay ng bawat isa, Lord God. Dalangin po namin sa buong bansa, makaw, Panginoon, sa lahat ng churches na narito, Lord God. Patuloy ka po, Panginoon, na mauna sa buhay ng bawat isa, sa lahat ng pastors, missionary, Panginoon, O God, sa lahat po, Panginoon, na nakakakilala sa Lord God. Continue to give us more wisdom and knowledge, Panginoon, upang masalo ka pong makilala sa bansang mga kao, Lord God. Dalangin po namin, Lord God, na sa lahat ng taong papasok dito sa bansang ito, Lord God, ay ikaw po ang mga itaas, Lord God, sa kailang buhay. Marinig, Panginoon, ang iyong pangalan, Lord God, na ikaw po ang mag-viral sa bansang ito o hindi ang hindi ang magandang tanawin, kundi ikaw po, Panginoon, Lord God, ang patuloy na mga itaas sa bansang mga kao, Panginoon, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God, sa paggamit niyo po, Panginoon, sa bawat tao, Panginoon, na nakakakilala sa'yo dito upang mas ma-encourage pa po ang bawat tao, Lord God. Nawa, Panginoon, dinadalangin po namin, Lord God, sa'yo. At pinagkakaloob, pinagkakatiwala po namin sa'yo, Panginoon, ng bansang makaw, Panginoon, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God, sa'yo po, Panginoon, ang pinakamagtas. So, Kung pa salamat, in this name we pray. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, God Father Almighty. Panginoon, tinataas po namin, Panginoon, sa iyo, ang bansang Pilipinas na pinipili, pinili mo. Hallelujah. May, you, may your eyes are open right now, O Lord. May your ears are open right now, O Lord. And hear our prayers for, for your country, Philippines. Panginoon, tinataas po namin sa iyo, Panginoon, ang mga anak mo na nawalan ng trabaho at hanap buhay, Panginoon, dahil sa mga kal- calamities, Panginoon, na nangyari sa Pilipinas. Lord, I ask, Panginoon, that uh, ibigay mo, Panginoon, ang mga tiwala, tiwala ng mga anak mo sa iyo, Panginoon, na sa iyo lamang, Panginoon, magtiwala sa mga 
pagkakataong ito. Lord, give them wisdom, O Lord. Wisdom, knowledge, Panginoon. Para magampanan, Panginoon, mga bagay-bagay sa kaluwalhatian no? ng pangalan mo. Lord, I pray also, Panginoon, na i-open mo sa kanila, Panginoon, kanilang mata, Panginoon, para para isik ka nila. Unang-una pa lang, Panginoon, sa paggising nila, O Lord, as I said in your word, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, O Lord, your righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Sinabi mo rin sa salita mo, Panginoon, na in Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7, na don't you worry about anything. You said, pray for everything. Lord, it's just a matter of relying on you. It's just a matter of trusting you, O Lord, that whatever circumstances, whatever, Panginoon, na pagsubok na nararanasan namin, Ikaw lamang mak- mak- makakagawa ng solusyon nun, Panginoon. That you are a way maker, Panginoon, in any kind of circumstances, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That you are our hope, O Lord, in whatever circumstances, You're our victory, O Lord, over everything and everything. Hallelujah. Give us, give us, Lord Panginoon, the fire of trusting you more and hoping you more, O Lord. Lord, I pray also, we pray also, Panginoon, for our government to succeed in all its programs, O Lord, and campaign against the poverty, corruption, and insurgency. Lord Panginoon, Gabayan mo, Panginoon, ang aming mga politician sa bansang Pilipinas na way bigyan mo sila ng puso na maglingkod sa bayan, sa bayan mo, Panginoon, na may pag-ibig para hindi nila, Panginoon, maisip yung mga bagay-bagay na hindi nakakaluwalhati sa iyo, Panginoon, ang pera. Lord, you give them, Panginoon, the desire to, to serve more with heart, O oh Lord. Bigyan mo sila, Panginoon, ng wisdom, O Lord, para knowledge, understanding also, O Lord, para mga magawa nila, Panginoon, yung mga bagay para sa ikakabuti, Panginoon, ng mga tao mo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, also, Panginoon, for their campaign against poverty, O Lord, away ang mga pera, Panginoon, ay pinagkatiwala mo, Panginoon, sa bansang Pilipinas, ay magamit nila, Panginoon, para sa ikabubuti, Panginoon, ng tao mo. At hindi mapunta, Panginoon, sa kanilang mga bulsa. Lord, when trusted you, Panginoon, all our prayers, we are sealing all our prayers, Panginoon, and now we are claiming all of it, Panginoon. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We also pray for the nation of Benin. Kami po dinadalangin ang muli, ang iyong pagkilos visit this nation again in the power in the touch of the Holy Spirit na magulap na sa iyong mga lingkod magiging sa mga all of their workers sa mga nag-disciple magiging good po sa mga nagtatranslate ng Bible na langit na aming Lord Diyos at iyong pong sustaining power ang Lord ang sumakan nila masusaan na maranasan nila ang kapangyarihan ng Banal na Spirito maging anointed and effective sila sa anak ang nanggagawin. At ang bawat gagawin nila ay makikita ng mga panagunin na ito ay kilos ng Panginoon, ito ay kilos ng tunay na Diyos. Sa gayon ay mapaalalahan na sila sa kanilang pananampalataya na sila ay kailangan tumawag, muli magsisi ng kasalanan at napitan ng Panginoon sa Kristo bilang Panginoon at Panginoon. Especially those Christians, maaring uh, Kulang pa sila sa kaalaman o mababaw pa sila sa kanilang level ng pananampalataya. Pinagahalong-halo nila ang mga paniniwala. We break the spirit of syncretism and witchcraft and voodoo in Jesus' name. Mga sila mga practices na katulad nito ang pagdepende sa mga spirito o mga pagsamba sa anpaman. Kami binabasan at uh, inawasak ang gawa ng kaaway na ito. Ang maling na mga practices na ito, maling natanim sa kanilang kaisipan sa pangalan ng Bangos. At tanging ang paniwalaan lamang nila ay ang purong-purong salita ng Diyos. Kaya po, Lord, nalang namin na mapabilis na bigyan mo ng kalakasan, resources, mga pamamaraan upang ang mga translators 
Kaya mapabilis na ang pagtatransli kita ng Bible sa kanita nilang local languages upang mapabilis po ang pangaral na kung salita. At uh, buong iglesia o ka ng mga churches na tuloy sa kanilang gawain ay sila ay mag-isip po sa kanilang mga gawain. Ang pagsamba, ang tunay na pagsamba, worship, ang pananalangin na may pananapalataya, ang prayer, at ang higit sa lahat ay yung pananapalataya sa iyo lamang o Diyos. Hindi sila magkocompromise, hindi po sila paghalo, hindi nila paghalo-haloy ng kanilang mga practices ng paniniwala. Narayin din po namin na lahat ng mga lugar na kung saan hindi pa narating ng iyong salita, gamitin mo yung mga misyonero, yung pastor na likod, kung magkaroon sila ng kakayahan, resources, at ng, uh, mga, ng uh, mga strategies upang ipaabot nila ang mga kasunod-sunod bahagi ng yung sa gayon hanggang maging 0% na ang nag-reach sa bansang ito, marinig nila ang salita ng Diyos. You know, Lord, na kung paano kang pumilos sa maraming bansa, ganun din ang gagawin mo sa bibig. At nagpapasalamat po kami sa patuloy mo rin pagkilos sa aming bansa Pilipinas at dito po sa region ng Macau. Thank you, Lord, ito that you are going to move, shake, and transform the nation so that they will come in the loving grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we pray na mga may prayer request and pray po for Sister Lance para pagalingan po sa kanyang alaga na nahawa ng COVID. Ang alam po namin na kung paano po pinagaling si Sister Lance ng mabilis, ganun din po ang gagawin po sa kanya. Laga, and we, again, we speak again protection pagiging po kay Sister Lance na wala ano pa mga, mga sakit o viruses na ah, ma, ma, na siya ay mahawa at uh, Lord, kayo pa lamang po ay pinapatay namin sa prayer ang mga lahat ng sakit na ito. And we speak life, healing, restoration, energy, strength on the whole body sa kanya po alaga and even to the whole family. ang mga bata ito ng jeans ni na po namin ay ikaw mag-ingat at ito sila mag-ingatan gabayan sa kamila po ginagawa at patuloy na dadaloy ang pagpapala sa mundo so someday for those who have other prayer requests at uh, uh, kung nababanggit mag po ito hindi ikaw na request you know oh Lord ang mga kahilingan ay kung kauna ni Itdan according to our faith And uh, we agree with them. Nakikisang ayon po kami at uh, uh, sumasama po kami sa pagdeklara na kung panalangin na yung mga kapatid na kay Ami po mga kapatiran ay bibigin mo, tutugunin mo in the right time, the right place, in the right moment. And even unexpected blessings and favor, we speak to those who um, prayer request in Jesus' name. And even to the whole ABC family, we pray for the church. We thank you, Lord, uh, uh, sa pagpasok po din ng bagong buwan na ito, ng February, kami ay huli ng mga uh, pararanasin ng mga bagay na hindi pa namin naranasan before, even blessings and favor na pararanasan namin dati ay muling mauulit pa doon and it keeps We keep on receiving again and again. We thank you, Lord, sapagkat lahat ng iyong mga gagawin mo, sa'yo po ang mapuri, sa'yo ang pag-on. Talahin po namin, wala po sa'yo, Pastor, to the family, and to the workers, the leaders, to the one in the family, ang paglabay, strength sa araw-araw, upang karunungan ang patuloy po ng mga eksamen sa lahat ng aming ginagawa at maging sa'yo po ang nagawain. Sa araw-araw po na ipanalaman sa hope at sa'yo po ang service bukas Lord, we pray, declare that it will be another victorious celebration of your goodness. Tuloy po lang dinadalakin ang pag, uh, pagtawag namin sa mga newcomers, mga bagong dadalo, uh, saan matatagpuan nila pag-asa, nagkaling sa'yo, matatagpuan nila ang sabutan sa kanilang mga tanong sa buhay, halikin sa lahat, ay matagpuan ka nila sa Lord and Savior. Sa araw, sa mga gawain ko namin every Sunday, especially this coming Sunday, sa love feast. Lord, ako saan ba? Ay, nung uh, pagdanda ko ka at magdadala ka pang doon ng maraming newcomers, mag-celebrate din po kami sa mga may birthday celebrants. At sa buong pamilya, oh Lord, ay ikaw ang mataas. At ako sa amin po pa nagsiserve ang patulog na kalakasan ng John in serving you, Lord. Lalo din po namin ang... Maging ang ibang churches na may gawain today, 
mga churches na kasama po sa Mema, dito sa Macau, even sa mga churches sa Pilipinas, kung meron sa mga prayer meetings, kung gawain, mga Lord, nalawin po sila na yung presensya para nasa nila yung pagmakakaal, pag-ibig, at kapag karin sa bawat mga pagtitipon at gawain, ay laging merong mga bagong tao o kalulung na nabalapit sa iyo at hindi kilala ka Lord and Savior. Tapos kinailala ka sa mga may sakit ay gagaling ang mga na kailangan ay matutungo na rin pa sa kanilang minasa. Maraming po salamat o Diyos at sa iyo po papunit pa salamat and just like just as what your son kami po nagawin na ikaw ang uh, Diyos na uh, saan posible ang lahat ng bagay ang uh, nagbibigay ka ng kagalingan sa magsakit, nagbibigay ka ng restoration sa uh, uh, naghina at nagbibigay ka ng tuloy na pagpapala sa mga nga. Thank you, Lord. And uh, we will never stop worshiping, praying, and serving you the days of our lives. healing restoration power answered prayers because Amen. we are blessed in Christ we are blessed in Christ, Christ I prosper and succeed in life in life because I love to study meditate and declare the for word every, day. every day in Christ I am I loving and caring for I love I to serve, serve God, God. God. and reach the lost at any cost Guys, I'm a faithful disciple. Faithful disciple. I obey him. Obey him. Guys, I have the double portion of anointing. Anointing. Bless him. Bless him. Favor. Motion. And strength. Motion. 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 And I, have I have everything I need according to his riches yes, and glory. Lord, Christ Christ, Jesus. I am covered right. by his precious blood. Covered I am by against all sickness, plans, and works I, of the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. I am living for God's purpose. God's purpose. I am blessed to be a blessing. I, I am abundantly blessed in blessing God's forever. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. And my whole family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Jerome, ikaw ba yan? Shalom, everyone. Hallelujah. Shalom. Who you, no? The best. Yeah, mga kapatid. Oh, yan. Wow. Hallelujah. Ayos na ayos. Glory to God. Thank you. Ngayon. Ang natin si Brother Julius, John Barry John Pan. Hallelujah. Si Atin Helen, siyempre. Of course, Brother Jerome again. Hello, of course, lagi pun ada sa Facebook. Welcome to Macau, bro. Welcome, welcome. 
Thanks to everyone. God bless. Okay. Lang ako na ulit ang picture sa FB. Okay, dito naman tayo sa Zoom. Oh, no, wala si Sister Carrie. Chat muna tayo. Wala na siya. Anyway, okay, let's get ready. One, two, and... Isa pa. Sa dalawa. Tablo. Yo. Amen. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. So, see you ulit bukas. Amen. Ang ating gawain video service Amen. ay bukas. Bukas ng gabi. But of course, makita kita muna tayo sa kukulay ng bukas ng buwan. God bless everyone. Yes, God bless. Hello, hello. Have a blessed day.